Obviously, he lost his top weapon. We know he's not happy about it. And DeAndre Hopkins, who will now join Kyler Murray. What do you expect from this team this season now that they just lost DeAndre? Honestly speaking, I don't have the slightest damn clue. But I will tell you that I don't expect an upgrade. Um, I, I, listen, Kenny Stills and Will Phil and those boys can play, and I get that. Uh, and Deshaun Watts, uh, you know, still has Deshaun Watson still has them available to him. Uh, but Bill O'Brien is still a coach, and he's your executive as well. I don't understand how, in God's name, he's gotten this power. He must have pictures on somebody or something. I don't get it. I don't understand it. Uh, but to give away DeAndre Hopkins uh, is just inexplicable to me, particularly for the price that you paid. You got less for him uh, than the Giants got for Odell. Beckham Jr. Um, I don't understand it. I really, really don't. When you look at DeAndre Hopkins, arguably the best hands in football, he was targeted by Deshaun Watson 150 times. Of the 495 passes that uh, De Deshaun Watson threw last year, 150 times DeAndre Hopkins was his target. Matter of fact, I think that was too little. He should have been targeted more for crying out loud, which is another question mark in regards to Bill O'Brien. The fact that Bill O'Brien is there um, and that he clearly made this move for personal reasons, not business sense whatsoever, I don't know what to expect from Houston, but I'm not expecting anything positive. I can tell you that much. Do you know how bad a GM Bill O'Brien is? Forget about Bill O'Brien, the coach, right? who may have an overrated reputation as a quarterback whisperer based on New England or whatever. You know, and, of course, now he has uh, the magic man in, in Deshaun Did a good Watson, job at Penn State, though. Did a good job at Penn State. Pressure. Yeah. Oh, I'm talking about in the pros. You're right. I mean in the pros. Uh, but but yeah. who seems to be a magic man under pressure, Deshaun Watson, speaking of college and the pros. Could you imagine for a second, Stephen Ann, I, I've already brought up, obviously their fortunes will decrease, right? Obviously, you move a, a great player and get back a player on a bad contract and don't even get a first-round pick. You're not going to do as well the second year as you did the first. He's really relying on the continued improvement on, of Deshaun Watson. But could you imagine even if that's the case and Watson keeps getting better and better, which he may, could you imagine Bill Walsh coming in to... to <laughs> The quarterback room telling Joe Montana, hey, Joe, uh, got some news for you. You know, we, uh, I know you and Jerry have this good thing going on. You have a good connection. We moved Jerry Rice. We got back a running back on a bad deal who hasn't been good in a couple of years and a second-round draft pick. So here we go. Let's try to win the Super Bowl. Could you imagine? I still can't get over that deal. Of course they're worse off. And by the way, Stephen A., if somehow they get better because Deshaun Watson is ascending, then still they would have been even better if you have an all-world receiver and his favorite target there. Like, I can't even begin to imagine the football well, reasons that you move DeAndre Hopkins. Max, let me throw this at you, and, and, and let's just go back and forth here and entertain this question. What kind of relationship does Bill O'Brien have with Deshaun Watson? Because the way I view it, it's one of two things. Either you are so comfortable with him and you believe he is so comfortable with you that you think you could get away with justifying this to him or you don't have much of a relationship with him and you don't give a damn what he thinks. You're the boss and that's it. Well, yeah, I mean, I think if you have coached under Belichick, you might think that you take some of that Patriot way with you. It seems successful, right? So how did Belichick get away with behaving as, as uh, kind of soberly and impersonally in terms of roster decisions and such? How did he get away with it? Because he won. What has Bill O'Brien done as the head coach of the Houston Texans that makes him think that he has the kind of gravitas with his players around the league that he can make a boneheaded decision like moving an all-time great wide out in his prime who is the favorite weapon and an amazing tandem with his star quarterback without the quarterback's blessing without without consulting him i don't understand and the fact stephen a that he has the powers of the gm in addition to the coach is unbelievable to me 
Well, he has been the coach of the Houston Texans for six years. Four of those years, he's gone to the playoffs. And the record is like, what is it, 52 and 44. That's a 54% winning percentage. It's not horrible by any stretch of the imagination. It's slightly above average. But I don't think it warrants getting rid of a future Hall of Famer in DeAndre Hopkins for personal reasons, uh, much to the chagrin of your star young quarterback. I think somebody in ownership should have obliged or obligated, rather, Bill O'Brien to make sure that he had ingratiated himself with his players and found a way to make that work rather than giving him the authority to unload yeah. a quality player like DeAndre Hopkins and not even getting a first-round pick in return. I mean, I know what I could imagine what the kind of GMing of it all, the excuse would be, well, DeAndre Hopkins wanted a gargantuan contract. Well, oh, and, you know, we, we, we right. can't allocate that percentage of the cap to a re receiver. Yeah, okay, but you took back David Johnson's contract on, and, 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 and you didn't even get it for... You understand, Stephen A., if you take that contract, a, a bad running back contract of that size, you're supposed yeah. to get draft compensation. So, like, here's a third-round pick to take this contract. They gave up DeAndre Hopkins and in the exchange only got a second round pick. You get first round pick minimum for, De for, for DeAndre Hopkins before you start talking about all the extracurricular stuff. It is amazing to me the Texans' fortunes are in decline as soon as that deal is made. And, and, and really, the only way you overcome it is the continued ascension of Deshaun Watson in a pronounced way because you refer to the winning percentage. Sure, it's nice. Deshaun Watson's a top five quarterback, arguably. Is that good enough if you have a top five quarterback? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.